Hey everyone, today we have seven dangerous things that were once quite normal. Let's go. Number seven, the cocaine treatment. About 100 years ago, cocaine was known in many countries as not harmful. Quite the contrary. You could just walk into a drugstore and without a prescription, buy cocaine in order to cure coughs and toothaches. You think that's cool? Now it gets even worse. Cocaine was even used as a sedative for children. I don't think it needs explaining, but at some point it fell apart and is fortunately no longer freely available today. Number six, children post. It almost sounds like a joke, but at the beginning of the 20th century, Americans had the ability to send their children legally by mail. For only 15 cents, the parcel containing a child could be brought anywhere. I really wonder how many irresponsible parents made use of that. Number five, smoking and pregnancy. About 70 years ago, smoking, among other things, was considered a good remedy for constipation during pregnancy. And yes, the whole thing was even recommended by doctors. Jeez. Number four, human zoo. In this picture from 1958, we see a zoo in Belgium. However, this was a horrifying zoo that was meant to house people from Africa and Asia as proof of Darwin's theory of evolution. That's just terrible. Number three, radioactive toys. In the 50s, radiation was still considered safe. This little mini laboratory includes real polonium and uranium to experiment with. Of course, this laboratory box led to radiation poisoning and was quickly withdrawn from sale. Number two, outdoor playpen. Yes, it is exactly what it looks like, and yes, of course, the whole thing was incredibly dangerous. In the 30s, these wire cages were very popular with British families. The objective was that the children should not interfere with domestic work. That way, mothers could keep them out in the fresh air. Just unbelievable. And finally, number one, dubious treatment. At the time, medicine was not nearly as scrutinized as it is today, and doctors carried out some treatments that we'd find extremely shocking. For example, a tongue might be cut just to heal stuttering. Several liters of blood might be drained or daily electroshock therapy could have been applied. I don't think I need to say that most of these operations were ultimately fatal for the patient. Needless to say, I'm incredibly happy to have grown up in the time that I have. Okay folks, well I hope you found some of these absurd, dangerous things at least a little interesting and are glad that you don't have to deal with them today. If you like this video, why not check out another one right here? Just click in the middle. Until next time, bye!